And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Tom Espinosa. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here's the perennial welterweight contender, Leon Rocky Edwards. Nice to see him finally realize a championship opportunity there in Salt Lake City. This is a 5-2 player, though. A lot of people fancy him just a striker. Haven't watched all the film. Of that, I can assure you, he can wrestle, he can grapple, can even choke you out if need be. Going to be very interesting to see. Could be the beginning of the end here. Leon Accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. Got at the fish, but you can see him now starting to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Esther. He's got some hands, man. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Fighter lands a nasty kick. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, has the guard closed here. Edwards is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Full side control now. North-south position. Come on, crowd. Get your mind out of the gut. In the half guard. Aspinall's back into full guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Get them out here. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Another ground and pound oh, strike oh. lands. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. He had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by him. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Yes, 
Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful kick to the body. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Just misses with the right. Three minutes now to go in this one. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Edwards gets tagged by that stiff jab. Oh, they're trying to huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, man, the hard hook lands again. He's had that weapon going on there. It's one of his best strikes. He does a good job of turning on it, landing it, and getting back to distance and safety so that he does not have to take anything in return. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Edwards' eye is starting to swell shut. 90 seconds to go in round two. Keep your hands up. Use your forward, oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Nice entry there and able to finish. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Nice job to land the front kick there by Edwards. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Beautiful block there. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big head kick lands. Oh! Yeah, he hurt him with that. He still hurt. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick. Fight. There is no time for strategy. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Aspinall's back in half goal. Oh, right into Mount. 
Aspinall's trying for a submission here. Trying to finish the armbar. Now, all he's got to do now is get his hip up into the back of the armbar to get the finish. Oh, the submission what? defense what? holds what? up. He gets what? out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Edwards is in half guard. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 30-28, 9-28, 29-28, for the winner by unanimous decision, Tom! All right, so DC, nobody surprised to hear those scorecards as the more well-rounded athlete gets it done over a fighter who's primarily a kickboxer at this stage of his career. Yeah, at this stage of his career, he just kickboxes still. But he showed good on himself. But it was all about the well-rounded guy, winning the exchanges that mattered, getting the takedowns when he needed to, and really putting on a dominant performance. I understand that it's a decision, but not all decisions are created equally. Yeah. And this one was dominant.